In this second part of Toon Boy Sam special, we will bring the Sam FBX file that we created in DAS Studio into 3D Exchange. Keep the settings displayed on the import FBX dialog as you see it, and click OK. Importing Sam into 3D Exchange may take a while depending on the size of the FBX file and speed of your computer. Once Sam has been loaded, Notice on the face setup panel that the option list contains the facial morphs we previously recorded in the Sam FBX file. As we move down the list, note Sam's mouth respond to the selected morphs. However, there were no morphs available to control Sam's eye movements. We will need to add them from the separate FBX files we specially created to record Sam's eye movements. Click the Add button, and locate the special FBX file relating to Sam's eye movements. You can add them individually or all together. There is somewhat of a delay in this loading process, so, wait patiently as they import. Added to the bottom of the facial morphs list, we can see the four separate eye movement morphs appear. We can now do a preliminary test, to see that these are working properly. Note the corresponding eye movements, when we select the added morphs. A very important fact needs to be kept in mind. Add these or any morphs immediately after the SAM character has been imported. If you bone rig the character first, which usually means changing his T-pose, Later added morphs will distort the character's movements, because the later added morphs will have the original T-pose established in DAS Studio. Choosing the DAS4 Genesis preset is useful to get started, but changes will have to be made for the character to animate properly. Note the trident-shaped chest bone. Retaining this bone will distort the animations provided to test the selected rigging. Return to the bone selection process, and click on the load button. Select the bone profile that I created, once I properly map Sam's bones. Note the bone selected and mapped. Follow this pattern, and save the completed mapping along with the adjusted T-pose you will make. Moving quickly through the numerous bone mapping choices I have found to work properly. We will also use the provided test animations, to make sure our character has been correctly bone mapped. One thing I want to point out is the T-Pose Sam was provided by the profile I loaded. This was not the original T-Pose, that came over from DAS Studio. It has been changed to make sure the character's arms and hands do not pass through his body mesh when animated. This is particularly noticeable when testing the Explain 1 animation provided. The arms are elevated at upper arm, and the hands are then leveled horizontally with the ground. Click the Save button to do this, once you have tested the animation resulting from your changes. Alternate between the Active option on, and the Active option off, while mapping the character's bones. Once you are satisfied with the mapping and resulting animations, you will need to convert the character to be used in iClone, but also to prepare the character to properly respond to the facial animations you have imported and added to the original FBX file. Then, move to the face setup in the expression editor. Click on the expression editor and begin editing the character's facial expressions. First, position Sam so that his face can be seen in detail, as you correlate the expression templates with the morphs provided in the FBX files imports.
the facial bones often hide the expressions we are wanting to set up. We can turn on and off the visibility of these bones to make our work easier. The expression editor features that we will show at this time have been set up previously, since this tutorial is not focused on setting the facial expressions by means of the morph sliders available from the FBX imports. We will load the facial expressions profile we created previously after we had set up all the desired morphs at the time. After you have completed the profile for this character, you should save those settings for future use, so you do not need to re-establish the character's expressive features. Also, when changes need to be made the profile can be loaded back in, changed, and the new profile saved. Since this tutorial is not about the detailed setting up of facial expressions, the focus at this point is on the editor's custom panel. Here we want to demonstrate how the eye movement morphs can be used in iClone. Notice these morphs can be dialed to set up eye movement for the first custom group. Next, we will complete preparing the character for export. Closing down the expression editor, we move to the materials panel to change how Sam will display. Click on the eyedropper tool and then click on a part of Sam's skin. Also, check the two-sided option box. Slide the glossiness and the specular sliders to zero. By checking the Effect All Materials option box, the character's skin will lose its shininess. This is the preferred condition that is mostly used when exporting characters to iClone. One problem appears. The character's eyes turn completely white. Click on the eyedropper tool and click on Sam's eye. However, make sure you uncheck the Effect All Materials option box or the whole character will lose opacity when fixing the eyes. Then, move the opacity slider to zero. This should make his eyes visibly normal again. Lastly, we turn to Sam's bathing shorts. Click on the eyedropper tool and then click on the bathing shorts. Push the sliders to zero with the two-sided option box checked, and the bathing shorts will change as did the character's skin. Moving to the character panel, we could apply to iClone, but we will wait until after we have exported the character. Go to the File menu option and choose Export. A panel will appear, whose parameter settings you can accept as is, for exporting this character. Then, you can apply to iClone. We are doing this to check out our character, before closing 3D Exchange iClone will load and automatically import our character. In iClone, we will bring the character into close view, and then notice Sam has been exported to the actor content area as we expected. Then we proceed to the facial animation screen, to set Sam up for lip syncing with a natural voice simulation that we typed in.
Move on then to the puppeteering panel, and experiment with animating Sam's head and face. Lastly, we check out the custom preset from the facial profile list, and test the eye movement morphs we set up back in 3D Exchange. Hello, my name is Sam. I enjoy being an actor for iClone. Hello, my name is Sam. I enjoy being an actor for iClone.